So guys, I'm currently in Saint Tropez. I'm actually at my business mentor's like second house slash beach house here. So um, I've kind of been off the grid for the past like seven, ten days. I've been doing a lot of work out here, uh, and then there's a little bit of paperwork that we've had to sort of figure out. But getting away has been pretty good. The schedule has pretty much been wake up, meditate, read, uh, go for an hour of tennis, and then just crush like five, six hours of work, and and also just relax the rest of the day. That said. I've been working a lot, so I haven't put much time into you know what the video for this week will be. So uh, I thought I'd do something a bit more off the cuff because my last like three, four videos have been quite flashy. I've been doing a lot of cool shit, uh, so I thought I'd give you a little bit of insight. So what I want to talk about today is what I learned creating a six-figure business at the age of 17. Just to clarify, my marketing agency has not made a hundred thousand pounds yet, and when I say a hundred thousand, I mean that in pounds and profit. It hasn't made that yet but it's very much on track to do so and to surpass that. So at this point, I can confidently say I've made a six-figure business. Anyways, now a lot of the advice you're gonna get from other YouTubers, entrepreneurs, is very esoteric. It's, you know, plan, strategize, have a vision, like all this fucking bullshit, which is true, they're great points, but I'm gonna give you three tips today, three things that I've encountered that have been very much a challenge for me as a business owner who's under 18 or if you're watching this if you're 16 17 18 19 20 these will pretty much apply to you one thing that always comes up is you know you might be 17 you might be 18 and you're going into meetings and the other person is saying you're too young you're too inexperienced what the hell could you know about this now what i want you to do is i want you to flip the script and i'll give you two examples now obviously i own a marketing agency so for me it's a bit easier whenever i go into a meeting i can basically say well look i'm 17 i understand the current social landscape like no 30 40 year old who has a, a college degree for marketing ever could i can relay the point that digital marketing has only been around for 20 years social media marketing has only been around for 10 years so really use that to your advantage if you're strong and you're firm and you tell them look i really can do this better than a marketing representative who's 30 or 35 because I'm on the platforms every day, I understand it. That's for someone who's in digital marketing, social media, content creation, shit like that. Now some of you guys may be in a bit more of a tough position, so let me give you an example. Say you have a, or you wanna start a accounting firm. It could very well be difficult to relay like, I'm 20 and I can do this better than someone who's 40, but once again, flip the script. So what I would say is, I am on the cutting edge. These 30, 35 year olds, 40 year olds, they're getting complacent. I'm up to date with the latest technology. I've developed and curated systems that, you know, people who are in their 40s or 50s, they don't understand. They're too set in their ways to adopt. And these new systems that I can bring to the table, they're way, way more efficient. They'll save you money. And overall, you're just gonna have a much better experience with me. So that's point number one. Point number two is I would keep your overhead costs as low as possible. Now I'm 17 and I can't even begin to tell you some of the issues that I've come up with in terms of getting an apartment for myself, getting an office for myself, payrolling, creating a company and the tax benefits that come with that. But whether you're 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, whatever it may be, your line of credit is probably dog shite. So what that means is you're gonna have a tough time getting a company office, you're gonna have a tough time payrolling, you're gonna have a tough time getting a line of credit if say you need equipment for the company or you need initial investment. All of this shit is gonna be very tough and it's just an unfortunate situation, but all I can say is keep your overhead costs as low as possible. Trust me, for the most part, you really don't want that burden at a young age, unless you have a business partner like I have who's you know, in his 30s, has other very successful companies and has the financial means as well as the documentation to prove that you know they can co-sign, they can be your guarantor. Just in general, I would keep your overhead costs as low as possible when you're first starting out as well as in your first three, four years of entrepreneurship. Now the last piece of advice I'm gonna give you will really help a lot of you young entrepreneurs out there. And once again, from these other videos, you're probably gonna get very esoteric pieces of advice. You're not gonna get very hard closer stuff like, like the stuff I'm trying to present to you today. And that is invest some money into your clothing. Now it's funny I tell you this as I'm dressed like super casually, but once again, luckily I can work from wherever in the world. But one thing that I do find is when you're dressed well, like their perception of you just changes automatically. And for some reason, when you're dressed well, they, they don't even seem to care or ask about your age. Now the thing is, most people tell me I don't look anywhere near 17. People tell me I look 20, 21. But nonetheless, there is this stigma around the 17, 18, 19, 20 year old who 
doesn't know much, who's inexperienced, who's going in there with a lack of confidence. There's something about walking into a meeting well-dressed, you're confident, they're taking you more seriously and Look, at the end of the day, you need to learn how to speak like a successful business owner. You need to dress like a successful business owner. If you're a B2C owner, if you fucking put out a book or if you put out a product, this doesn't apply to you as much, but I would still use it in terms of networking. But if you're a B2B owner, if you are face to face with a client and you're offering a service, like this is honestly one of the biggest keys I can give you to bypass the stigma around the young, inexperienced business owner. So there are just three practical tips you can take away. I've come across so many issues and concerns around being an entrepreneur who is number one young, but number two, I'm under the age of 18, which means, as I said, there's, there's so many issues creating companies, company holdings, tax, stuff like that. But I've done my best to bypass those as well as I can. So I probably have 101 other tips, but they're just three for today. So I'm here in Saint-Tropez for like another two days and then I'm back to London. I'm just on the back end of four weeks of traveling. In the past four weeks, I've been to four different major cities. It's been a lot of fun and a lot of good business has happened, but I'm very excited to get back to London and get back into sort of my daily routine and my daily schedule. As I said, I hope I've come off a bit more personable here. I understand that my last three, four videos have been very, very flashy and I've done some pretty cool shit in the past four weeks and documented all that. All I can say is, you know, I face a lot of the same struggles as you do. I have a lot of the same concerns as you do. And any issues that you've gone through, I've probably faced myself. So that's why I put out this video, just to remind you guys that I guess I'm a human as well. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. It means the world to me. And I will catch you guys next Sunday.